Hello everybody and welcome to Excel Made Easy. This is your Excel Guru today with a new formula called count blank. Well, as the name suggests, count blank counts the blank cells in a given range. Uh, a specified cell, a, a, spe a single column over here, what do you see? A single place, this. This is called a cell. A collection of cells is called a column. Oh, sorry a range so this is a range so what uh, count blank does is that it finds out the count of empty or blank cells in a given range so like for example I've taken example of here first names Alan Bob Carol Alan has come again Bob has come again and oh my god even Carol is back <laughs> Uh, so these these are repeat entries. Uh, last names is John Williams and Carol has, seems to have lost her last name. Alan is again Jones. Bob is again Williams and Carol has found her last name as Davis. And these are their roll numbers: twenty-three. And Bob Williams is actually using abusive language over here. Seems. <laughs> so uh, why I have given these uh, numbers, alphabets, and these symbols over here because I would like to tell that count blank doesn't differentiate between numbers alphabets and symbols it uh, it would give you uh, the count of blank cells no matter what is contained in the adjacent cells or in the range it's very simple to use this formula how you do you use it you just press the is equal to button and type in C O U N T uh, B L A N K and it says range it is highlighted over see so we select the range and we close the bracket and press enter and it, the answer is zero because there is no cell that is blank in this range however if we do it over here I'll ch uh, show you how to do this in a different manner also we click on formulas we click on insert function and then we type C O U N T B L A N K count blank and here it goes then we clear. let's see what does Bill Gates have to say on this <laughs> counts the number of empty cells in a specified range of cells maybe exactly what that's what I said so we select the range over here I'm using the shift and the arrow keys I press enter and here's the result see one row is one column uh, one cell is blank same goes over here we can copy it right click copy come over here sorry uh, we right click we click on copy uh, and sorry what is happening we right click it copy and we come over here and we right click and click on paste so you pasted your formula over here see only one was blank see so if I delete this this become two isn't it cool to use yes it is it helps you a lot in so many ways uh, the video that uh, the Excel file used in this video is available uh, for free download at my website excelmadeeasy.weebly.com uh, you can go to this site and download this file for free uh, you all you need to do is go to the training files page and download the training file for free and yes there's something I would like you to do and uh, no don't write any checks or do not take out your credit card no uh, well what I would like to say you if you believe that what I'm doing is right if you believe that sharing knowledge is good then yes I would like you to go ahead and click on follow me on Twitter and this would take you to my Twitter page follow me and not only follow retweet share the content go to my Facebook page and like me like and then share the content go to my YouTube channel subscribe so that uh, uh, subscribe to my work so that whenever you want to find something more about Excel you can find it out uh, it will be very easy uh, for you to uh, find me once you have subscribed to me and yes there is one more thing you can also type in your query over here like any formula name and you will be able to find it like I type in VLOOKUP and I press OK search so you can search all my videos which are related to VLOOKUP there are a lot of uh, videos that I've put in so it's good to use this search feature also do share my content if you believe that what I'm doing is right and sharing knowledge is good then this is your Excel Guru signing off for the day have a wonderful day ahead happy Excel learning